What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the two person mounts and how they're finally going to be coming to the Elder Scrolls Online in Update 33. Now two person mounts were discussed over two years ago that were shown off, showcased uh, in a tr uh, kind of a, a live event in trailers then and they kind of got put on the back burners. There was an issue with them. Zoss said they were working on it and I think a lot of people kind of thought that we just never were going to get them. You know, it had been two years now that we really had heard much about them, but it looks like they're finally going to be arriving in the Elder Scrolls Online. Uh, with Update 33, you will be able to get these multi-rider mounts. They will let you and a group mate ride on the same mount. Once acquired, you know, you just activate it through your mount collection menu as normal. Summoning and dismounting on the multi-mount or the multi-rider mount works the same as any other mount in game. The only difference is the passenger must be in the same group as the person that is, you know, driving the mount or, you know, on the head of the mount there. Uh, you aim your target reticle if you're the group mate uh, to someone that has a multi-rider mount that is in your group. And of course, then you select just to get on the mount. You can get off at any time as a passenger, but if the driver actually dismounts, it will dismount you as well. So this will be a pretty good option, in my opinion, for players that are new to the game. If you have a friend that plays that's brand new to the game, uh, they'll have the option to ride around with you to have a faster mount. We all know how long it takes to rank up mount speed, so that would be a great thing, I think, for a lot of players. Also, you're having to rank up mount speed on each individual character. So if you're in PvE or if you're in PvP in Cyrodiil and you have slow mounts, that's kind of a drag in the Elder Scrolls Online. Let's just be honest. It's, it's kind of sucks when you can walk and run faster than you can ride your mount. So having a, a two-person mount will be helpful for newer players. I think a lot of people will just like it in general because they've been wanting it for so long. And we do know right now in the public test server, I've been trying to keep up with all the info going on. Since I do play here on PS5, we don't have the option to be in the test server. But there are being two mounts tested. Uh, the spider that you just saw, and then of course this two, uh, two-player uh, kind of horse mount as well. I'm sure there will be more come out in the future. I'm sure we'll probably have some... Radiant Apex two-player mounts even eventually. Uh, kind of like they do with all the other mounts in the game. I'm sure we're just going to start seeing a lot of the mounts we've already had in-game become two-player mounts as well. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. Are you excited about the two-player mount? Uh, was it something that you were looking forward to two years ago when it was first announced? Are you kind of like myself? I, it's it's interesting to me. They are neat. I don't know if I would personally buy one. I, mean, I might eventually you know, get one just to have one because you know I like to collect all the different things in-game. But... If you are a fan of two-player mounts, you have friends that are just getting introduced into the game, I think it would be very helpful. And like I said, it could also be very helpful in Cyrodiil. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.